up, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I know I'm dressed again in the outfit from scratch that I made very recently. Honestly, I'm really proud of all of my outfits that I've been creating from scratch. I feel like I am literally becoming like a designer. It's like, you know, I am actually um, discovering this side of me this designer side of me and I'm actually enjoying it. I mean, I knew I had an eye for like, you know, um, designing outfits, like, you know, regular Punjabi suits and all of that, because that's what Punjabi girls anyway, you know, like we do all the time, whenever we have to like, you know, um, get a dress done for a wedding or something like that. But I never really thought this is what I could actually do and enjoy, like, you know, like for every wedding. And I'm actually looking forward to more weddings. I'm like, dude, why do I have such less friends? I only have like five, six friends and only five, six weddings to attend. How stupid is that? Like, I wish I had more. Like, I wish I had like 25 friends so I could like keep making one outfit every month for like two, three years or something. I don't know. I'm gonna lie, you guys. I'm obsessed with this outfit. I'm obsessed with the jewelry that I'm wearing with it. Like, I'm obsessed with the entire look. And because I could not really get ready properly and I could not really show you guys my makeup uh, the day that I wore this outfit for the wedding, I thought I'll just sit down and, you know, like this time Aram say actually do my makeup in peace wearing this outfit, click a few pictures and just like be satisfied, you know what I mean? That did not sound right. Also, in today's video, I'm going to be using all of the products that have been very recently launched in the market. I haven't spoken or used these products even once. So I'm going to be trying them out in front of you guys. It's going to be a first impressions with all these products. So yeah, it's going to be a very interesting long video. I hope you guys are excited. So yeah, without wasting any more time, Okay, so to prep my skin today, I'm going to be using some products that have been very recently launched. I think I've already spoken to you guys about the Ole Regen Wrist uh, Retinol 24. This is a new, uh, you know, retinol based product by Ole. Very, very good. Uh, in fact, they also have a moisturizer in this range, which I use on and off. This is not something that I'll be using for the first time. In fact, I've already spoken to you guys about this product. Really good product. It's fragrance free. And along with retinol, they also have niacinamide in this uh, serum. So, you know, it helps in like sort of maintaining the moisture and hydration in your skin. So anyway, I just got you guys a bit closer so you can see what's happening on my face. I'm just gonna take like one pump of this because it's nighttime. It's pretty late in the night. It's actually 11 o'clock in the night that I'm actually filming this video. So yeah, this is the product. This is how it looks like. It's like this very light milky sort of a serum, you know, and it's not greasy at all. In fact, I'm just gonna take a little bit more. So it's basically got this pump in the cap itself. And you can just like sort of squeeze the amount of serum you want. Apart from the Retinol 24, they also have uh, Ole Luminous Tone Perfecting Hydrating Essence. I haven't tried this one out yet um, and I very recently got it. Like I tried it out once or twice but I haven't like, um, you know, like started using it in my skincare routine. Although this one I do use on and off, uh, you know, in my nighttime skincare routine. But uh, yeah, this one actually is a very glossy serum but it's got this very pearly kind of a finish to it you know it looks very very glowy on the skin i'm just gonna apply a little and show it to you okay so this actually feels very smooth on the skin it's very very smooth on the skin and it has this nice dewiness to it do you see that it's got this nice beautiful pearly glow you guys how beautiful is that you can definitely wear this under your base you know to get that nice dewy finish to your skin you know like that glow coming from within kind of a vibe my hand feels super smooth right now not even kidding this one has niacinamide and hence it's like that hydrating on the skin and apart from that it's meant to like uh, you know clear your dark spots and dullness and basically give you that nice glowing illuminated skin like all over even skin tone okay so moving on in case if you guys are not aware elf has been launched in the country it's available exclusively on nika and it's a it's like this very famous drugstore brand of us which is here um and i think it's a little expensive than what it is in the us but i think when it comes to india with the taxes and everything it gets a little more expensive but anyway i have this entire dabba which was sent to me in pr uh when it was launched so i'm going to be using most of their products unfortunately they haven't really sent foundation or concealer so i'm going to have to use my own foundation and concealer uh but for primer today i'm going to be using the elf poreless putty primer now a friend of mine uh, told me about this primer and he said that Jeffree Star actually really loved this primer. It's basically something that you would expect to be like really good and I'm gonna be trying it out for the first time. So it comes in this like 
cake format basically and I'm just gonna scoop a little out it feels like a refrigerated mousse you know what I mean like you know if you if you refrigerate a mousse and then you run your fingers over it this is how it's gonna come on your fingers I think it feels like you're applying a very thick cream on your face but it's not greasy you know it's it's more powdery I actually was expecting it to be like really greasy and oily but it's not greasy at all actually and guys it's actually priming my skin it is priming my skin i'm actually liking this product because it's not thick it's not uh greasy it's doing the job of priming my skin really well and i don't mind this product on my face so this is basically for 1100 it's not be cheap near but you know, I mean, it's a good primer, but I feel like you get like a uh, Nykaa Prep Me Up and you get Color Bar and stuff like that, which, uh, you know, both these brands are much cheaper. Both those products are actually much cheaper than this one. Although this is a good product. I mean, it's actually a very good primer, but it's a little expensive. So you guys take a call. Okay, now, because as I said, I don't really have a new foundation. I'm going to stick to my own foundations. I'm going to be using the Double Wear, um, Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation primarily because... I haven't used this foundation in a very long time and I do not want this to like expire before I finish the bottle. Anyway, so as I was saying, I'm thinking wedding or no wedding, I'm gonna continue the outfit from Scratch series every month. Not necessarily like a wedding or wedding guest outfit, but something casual or something like that. Like I'm gonna figure out a series around it, you know, so I can just create something because it's so much fun. Like it's, I understand it's fun for you guys to watch, uh, you know, my outfit from scratch vlogs, but it's all the more fun for me to actually create outfits. I'm gonna try some other stuff, you know, I'm gonna try and go to different markets this time because usually I'm always on a very strict timeline, so I don't have the time to explore new markets and or like, you know, new fabric stores or something. So wedding or no wedding, you guys, we will do this and it's gonna be fun. I think it's gonna be a win-win situation for everybody. Here. Also, I think I told you guys that I'm leaving on a trip, on a family trip in March. So I guess I already know what I am going to be stitching for the month of March, you guys. Now, moving on to a setting powder. I don't really have a new setting powder. Do I have a new setting powder? Do not think we have a new setting powder. But what I have is the new K by Katrina matte compact and even this is like actually quite light okay this is not very thick generally i never layer um, a compact powder over a foundation but today i'm just gonna use a very light layer of this compact powder so i'm just gonna like sort of apply it underneath if you're a person who does not wear foundation on a regular basis, if you stick to just using a concealer, I think you could actually use this compact powder to get a little bit more coverage. Um, also, you could use this to like sort of dab on your makeup, you know, to just like make sure your skin is not as shiny as oily. Uh, because it's very lightweight, you know, it's actually that everyday compact powder that you might want to just carry around with you in your bag. I've tried this once but I haven't spoken about this compact powder on my page and even though like you know right now that I'm using this on my uh, on my base it's not looking thick you know what I mean like it's actually not looking very very thick and they have quite a few shades in this which is actually a good thing it's very compact it's very lightweight very very patla literally you can just like keep it in your purse and forget about it unfortunately it does not come with any sponge or anything because it's a very compact compact I think it's very convenient, you know, although you will have to carry a sponge separately. So now for my blush, you guys, I'm literally confused between e.l.f. monochromatic multi stick or should I go for the K by Katrina uh, blush powder. Now, I've been using a lot of K by Katrina blush powder on almost all of my Instagram videos uh, because I really, really love the formula. I think it's very pigmented. I think it just blends beautifully with your makeup. But I think because I've already used quite a bit of this, I'm going to try out the new e.l.f. Monochromatic Multi Stick, which I haven't tried out even once. So it's this creamy stick 
formula which is not matte basically it's got a little bit of shimmer to it so you know this is how it looks it's a tint which actually looks a little patchy it's not consistent like you know everywhere there's like a little patchiness to it but i think if i apply it on my face probably it won't be as patchy or so i'm hoping okay it's got very chotu chotu glitter particles in there which honestly i'm not a fan of because that just makes your makeup look sasta you know what i mean not a fan of glitter particles on my face uh, i don't think i like this okay just so i mean it's a good color it's a good shade of tint or whatever but it's it's got glitter in there and although the glitter is not like in your face it's not too much but it is there like i can i can see it so i don't like it okay and then i also have this elf highlighter guys this absolutely nothing no highlight to this i am shook how is it even a highlighter when there is no shine to it after literally like scratching half of the product on my brush this is what i get this is so disappointing very very subtle but you know like that should be my choice like if i want to keep it subtle or if i want to just like overdo it like it's very very subtle sorry to say but i think i'm not a fan of this because i think i have much better drugstore highlighters with me um that do a much 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 better job For my brows again i'm going to be using the elf cosmetics instant brow lift pencil i don't think they have a specific shade to this this is literally the only shade i guess because there is no shade mentioned here but this seems like a good product it's creamy the shade is nice it's not too dark for my brows because my brows are anyway like quite dark I think I like the brow pencil. It's not bad. It's actually very good. So now for my eyes, I have two palettes. I have two options right here. First is this really cute tiny palette, which initially I thought is an eyebrow palette, but it isn't. It's actually an eyeshadow palette. So either I could try this one out, or I could try out the Calibar palette, which is also pretty decent look. Honestly, I don't think I would actually go for the smoky tones although I really want to try it out and just like uh check the pigmentation of the Calibar one and then I'm going to try this one out because it's got more uh you know golden and like more nude shades that I feel like will go perfect rather than going for smoky. So let me just check the pigmentation. Okay, not bad. Cuz I'm not putting a lot of pressure to get the shades so it looks okay to be honest all three shades so far are looking the same on my hand so i have my verdict already without even using this palette but uh from the shade range like the dye shade range that we see here i feel like on its own like if you only have to use this palette to create an eye look you'll have a little difficulty because you don't really have a transition shade here uh all the lighter shades that you see these are all metallic shades so these are not like matte eye shadows that you can actually blend with the darker shades and create like a proper smoky eye look right also the shade range is a little mismatch for me because i don't see how i don't know i mean all the darker shades look alike and yeah so it's not as exciting I think I'm going to skip it. So, I guess I'm going to stick to the elf one because I think a lot of you girls would want to try out a mini eyeshadow palette which has only uh you know some nude shades because I think it comes really handy especially if you have to attend a wedding or something. You know, during functions or during weddings, I feel like this palette could be actually pretty handy if if it has good enough pigment. we're going to find that out. I think the palette has a decent enough combination of matte and shimmery shades so we can actually work with this palette. I'm just hoping fingers crossed 
that it has good enough pigment as well. Okay, so I'm just gonna start with this shade right here. There is quite a lot of fallout on the pan, if you could see. And I'm not gonna be using any setting spray just to see the pigmentation on its own. No problem with the blending as well. So far, it's going great. Okay, next I'm gonna take a slightly smaller brush and I'm gonna go for the darker shade right here. And in fact, I'm just gonna use a little bit of this brown as well because I feel like the brown looks a little too brown. I'm gonna start from the outer corners. Guys, this is not a bad palette at all, actually. Brown is also like really well pigmented. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Okay, I'm gonna take a smaller brush and kind of smoke out my lower lash line. Next, I think I'm gonna use my fingers. And oh, oh my god, really, dude, what? It's so creamy and pigmented, I can't. You know what, I'm just actually gonna mix both these shades because on its own, this is a little too light. I'm just gonna, you know, get a good blend of these two eyeshadows. I'm gonna apply that in the center of my eyelids. Oh, oh my god. Do you see that pigment? This is insane. Please tell me this is cheap and not for like thousand bucks or something because the palette is so good and it's so tiny. It's literally so handy. You can put it in your bag. You can carry it with you. The major problem that I have with eyeshadow palettes is that they're so big. You have to like really be so worried about, you know, breaking them when you're traveling with an eyeshadow palette. But this is like so cute. This is not what I was expecting, honestly. I didn't even have to go back into the palette and literally both my eyes have enough eyeshadow. Are you kidding me right now? This is insane! This tiny thing has surpassed all of my expectations. Next I'm going to be using the Nykaa Like It Long uh, Lengthening Mascara. By the way, your girl was a part of the campaign in case if you haven't seen it. I was one of the mascara girls. Okay, so I quickly put on some lashes off camera and I love my makeup today. I like it. I think it looks very nice. And for my lips, again, I have e.l.f. I have their liquid matte lipstick in the shade... Uh, in the shade... Marvelous. Marvelous. Without a lip liner today, but I think the color is really pretty, you guys. I am shook because I feel like most of the e.l.f. products that I've used today, they are really good except for the highlighter because the highlighter literally is not worth the money. I feel like uh, there is a L'Oreal highlighter which is much, much, much better. There is K-Beauty. There's like so many other highlighters that actually do a very good job of highlighting your face rather than this one. But apart from the highlighter, I feel most of the products that I've used on my face, they are actually very good. Uh, especially the primer, I really like the primer. The primer actually felt nice on my face, you know. Even like the lipstick, although I feel like the lipstick is sort of like, you know, it's drying. So I can actually see all of these cracks on my lips, you know. Can you tell? Like you can see all of your creases and that is, when you see all these creases on your lips, that is what I actually don't like about matte uh, liquid lipsticks. So lipstick wouldn't really be my first choice. Um, but I'm not mad at it. I mean, it's not patchy. It's nothing, um, it's not bad. It's just a personal choice. So yeah. Anyway, then I also have this lip gloss that they sent me. So I think I'm going to use this. Okay, the lip gloss is also a plumping gloss. Okay, I didn't know that. But to finish it off, I have their matte finishing spray. A 
this is the finished look you guys i love my makeup i love how everything actually came together really well i've kept it very simple like with the eyes i haven't really played around much because the palette itself was very very simple very beginner friendly so i kept everything very simple uh, but i feel like uh, you know the makeup actually suits my outfit really well it's something that you can actually wear with almost all of your indian wear or you know your ethnic stuff except for the highlighter except for the blush tint i have actually loved everything that i've used on my self today um love how everything actually came together let me know what you guys think of my look in the comment section also all of the products that i've used are mentioned in the description box you guys can check it out and before you leave please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel before you leave and that is it for now you guys i will see you next time bye